The price of adopting a child here in the U.S. now is higher than ever before. The Independent Adoption Center says it could cost as much as $50,000 per adoption. And because of that, an Amherst couple is now turning to the Internet to try and offset that staggering cost. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson. Those were the days. For Misty and Eric Dash, it was love at first sight. We met at college. Um, I was a freshman and I think he was a junior. They married after graduating from Casanova College and soon after talked about starting a family. But after years of trying and failing to conceive, the young couple realized something wasn't right. I think we probably were both in denial for a little while and then we, we kind of ignored it for a little bit and then and then we started really seriously talking about it. And desperate for a child, the Dashes began to explore adoption. I guess I was always open to it. I always thought it was something that um, I could see myself doing. But they knew they would need a little extra help funding the potentially costly endeavor. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says depending on the type of agency, fees for home studies, legal fees, and sometimes medical costs for the birth mom could cost a couple nearly $40,000. Made us start thinking outside the box. So a month ago, Misty turned to crowdsourcing, specifically the website GoFundMe. Since launching in 2010, the site has raised over $1 billion for all types of causes, including adoptions. The couple has already received positive feedback and support, but still have a ways to go to reach their $20,000 goal. They are staying optimistic that everything will work out. But I think it's. I think it may be a little bit longer than we want, but um, I think it, it, will, it will happen. So far, Misty and Eric have raised $725 toward their $20,000 goal, mainly from family and friends. They are hoping their story will inspire complete strangers to help them complete their family. I have posted information about their fundraising efforts on WKBW.com. Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.